Hi, my name is Urs Gaudens from Gaudi Labs. Today I want to show you the full process of desktop production of the new Open Termin. The production involves reflow soldering and pick and place using a do-it-yourself pick and place machine. The Open Termin is an open source and fully playable Termin with a volume and pitch antenna. The Open Termin Uno is designed as a shield for the Arduino Uno. While the microcontroller does advanced filtering and calibration, the electronic shield is built around two heterodyne oscillators like the original Termin. As you can see, the circuit requires quite some components. For those of you who don't want to put together these electronics and rather want to write software or build Termin cases, I built a small batch of these electronic shields. To do so, I set up a small desktop production. I believe in open source hardware, in do it yourself, and in small batch production, as you can see. The boards are designed on Eagle and produced in small batch by a PCB manufacturer. The first step is to apply solder paste by screen printing. For this I built this little device where you can put the circuit board. There is a laser cut stencil and with this I can apply the solder paste. This is what it looks like with the sold paste. Next I put all the boards on the pick and place robot. The boards are positioned by D3 small notches. The robot is built from a scanner, the part that holds the boards and drives like this. And from an inkjet printer carriage and a DVD drive that does the pick and place of the parts. The small SMD parts are picked up by a steel needle that you can see here on the tip moving up and down. The small needle is connected to a little vacuum pump that you see here. All the three stepper motors for the axis as well as the vacuum pump are controlled by a RipRap Arduino Mega Polulu Shield hooked on an Arduino Mega, the so-called RAMPS. I used version 1.2 here as it is based on a single-sided board that I can manufacture myself. Now we need the parts. As there are many different parts on the Termin board, the parts are presented to the machine through this uh, part carrier rather than through conventional feeders. 
There are five times four position on the carrier. Each position can hold up to 12 parts as there are 12 ports on the robot. Small pins on the carrier position the piece of the reel that are cut to the right length. If several parts are of the same type, it becomes really quick to load. Once all the part loaded, I carefully remove the cover band from the strips. and put the carrier on the machine. Three magnets hold the carrier and position it on the machine. Like the RepRap 3D printer, the pick and place machine is controlled through so-called G-codes, standardized codes that are sent to the machine to control its movement. A special script that I wrote translates the part list according to the carrier to a file of these G codes. The file of G codes is then sent to the robot by the standard RepRap interface. The do-it-yourself pick-and-place machine proved to be accurate enough and it's really very reliable. So while the machine is working and assembling 12 uh, circuit boards, I can already go and load the second carrier. Now that all small resistors, capacitors and even the LEDs are placed, I can take off the boards from the robot. I assemble the rest of the part like integrated circuits, buttons or connectors by hand. Now the boards go into a temperature controlled oven for reflow soldering. The temperature controller is basically an Arduino connected to a power switch, a display and a keyboard. Now I check all the boards with the optical microscope.
And finally, all the terminals get connected to this test bench and tested. If the theremin is OK, it gets its unique ID number. OK, this is it. I hope you liked it and see you again at Gaudi Labs. Bye bye.